Well, today was a somber anniversary of the attack on the USS Cole. 17 sailors were killed and 39 were injured. Family and former crew members remembered the brave sailors who lost their lives 22 years ago. 10 in your size, Lauren Moss has more on the event. Today was a somber anniversary of the attack on the USS Cole. 17 sailors were killed and 39 others were injured. Family and former crew members remember the brave sailors lost 22 years ago. A wreath was laid by the USS Cole Memorial on the 22nd anniversary. Who knew that everything was going to change for all of us that day? Family, it was never the same. Mona Gunn lost her 22-year-old son 22 years ago. Gunn said her son, Jerome, was following in the footsteps of his father by joining the Navy. After boot camp, his orders sent him to the USS Cole at Naval Station Norfolk. Gunn lived in Virginia Beach at the time. He was happy to be coming back home. In August, the Cole set out on a deployment. He was very excited about going. He took the time to visit all family members. Are you going to miss me? I said, sure. You'll be back. Jerome Gunn never returned. The signalman seaman lost his life in the USS Cole bombing. The explosion left a 40-foot hole in the coal. Kristen Wheeler was aboard the USS Cole that day. She was on her first deployment as a sonar technician. She was able to work alongside Jerome. He was full of light and joy, laughter. Wheeler says he was the star of the show on karaoke night. And he got up and sang and he rocked it. He brought the vibe. Today, Wheeler and her former co-workers remember their determined warrior shipmates. Always be a determined warrior. Uh, fight for your shipmates, fight for yourself, fight for your ship. She said it also gave her a chance to see the current sailors aboard the coal. Uh, it really meant something to watch the young sailors get up and say each person's name. And now the torch has been passed. The USS Cole is in the yard getting upgrades to prepare for Operation Greyhound. It is set to continue operations at the beginning of next year. In Norfolk, Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.